Hey guys, I hope you're well. Um, today's video I'm going to do a quick what's in my makeup uh, bag video. Uh, the makeup that I use on the go when I'm out and about and things I use to touch up in the day. Um, so I'll get started. I don't think I've done one of these before. I think I've done maybe a my go on the go makeup or done a quick what's in my makeup bag when I've done a what's in my handbag video. But I don't think I've ever done a, a video solely for this. So um, I just, I like watching these, so I just thought that you might like uh, to see what I carry around with me. Anyway, this is my makeup bag, and it's a really, really cute leopard print um, kind of fur. It's not real fur, guys. It's kind of an Im imitation fur leopard print, and it's um, by the brand Bieber. And I love this. I absolutely love this bag. My friend has the kind of like a mauvey leather one which is also really gorgeous. I recommend if you're looking for a nice uh, quality and affordable makeup bag then Bieber do some really gorgeous ones. I bought this from House of Fraser department store and they were having a 20% off day I think. So I think I got it for about £28 which is really good because it's leather and I really love the design of it. Um, so what's inside my bag? As you can see it's kind of full. And I've had to change my makeup because of the weather. It's got really, really hot here, and so I've kind of um, had to use my oil proofing um, makeup during the day. And the first thing in my bag is Urban Decay D Slick Spray. When it's hot and humid, I have to have this with me. It's nearly empty, and I absolutely love it. It's great for refreshing your makeup during the day. Um, I definitely need it when I've just applied my makeup to kind of set it and make sure that it lasts a little bit longer and yeah throughout the day I spray this to refresh and retouch my makeup. Uh, setting spray is an essential for me, uh, setting spray, setting powder is an essential for me um, especially in weather like this but I use setting powder every day even in the winter because I have really oily skin um, and it still gets oily after four or five hours even in the winter. And the one I'm loving using at the moment is Chanel's Matte Lumiere Luminous Powder, Setting Powder. Um, it's a really gorgeous um, powder that offers a little bit of coverage, um, makes your skin look really even and matte, but it doesn't look too flat. It has kind of a luminosity to it. It doesn't have any glitter particles or anything like that in it, but it's not totally matte, so you don't look like a doll or anything. I really recommend this if you're looking for a good, intense uh, setting powder that doesn't look too caked on and I apply it with a uh, powder puff thing this is by Garland, Guerlain sorry that I got it uh, with another product but I really like that I press it into there and then I roll and press on my skin and I find that gives a really natural finish and gives the best kind of setting effect to my makeup. Uh, I carry with me a um, hair spray this is uh, Alterna's Caviar Anti-Aging Colour Hold rapid hair repair spray. It's not a hairspray as it doesn't set my hair or anything like that but I find that this adds really nice shine during the day. It's kind of got a really gorgeous fragrance which adds a perfume to my hair and I find that I spritz this every few hours or so um, to give a nice shine and get rid of frizz and um, yeah make my hair look healthier. I got that as part of, um, I think in the Glossy Box a few months ago, as part of their, you know, the subscription service, and I love that, and I will definitely be purchasing the full size of that one. Um, double Wear, Estee Lauder's Double Wear uh, Maximum Cover, sorry, I forgot what it was called, but I'm never without this. I take this everywhere, even if I was going to take a few things in my bag, um, if I didn't take my makeup bag, I'd just take this for emergencies. It's the best cover-up ever. It gets rid of redness, scarring. Um, all blemishes, under eye circles, everything. It's a great multi-purpose concealer. It's sold as a foundation because it's quite large, but I use a tiny amount as concealer wherever it's needed and it lasts me forever. I love that. Uh, I use my Bare Minerals or Bare Essentials uh, Ibuki brush to buff that in and uh, get the best natural finish um, under my eyes or on um, my scarring or spots. Uh, Chanel eyeliner in Clare, intense eye pencil in Clare or Claire, and it's a natural coloured kind of concealer nude eye pencil. Love this for opening up the eyes. I use this on my inner corner and my um, bottom waterline. 
Uh, NARS Larger Than Life Pencil, I bought this last week, absolutely love this, this has been everywhere with me, it's really really great for a touch up during the day, don't really need to but sometimes, um, usually when I first do my makeup I just do my top waterline um, with eyeliner and don't usually do underneath but sometimes in the day I feel like adding um, more intense effect under my eyes and that's why I always take um, an eyeliner, a dark eyeliner with me for that purpose if I want to do that. Um, lip Pencil, I've really got into using lip pencils recently and I'll do a video on that actually and I bought this one the other day and I think it's amazing and it's Max Factor's new colour elixir lip liner in the colour pink petal and the colour is a really really beautiful pale um, nude pink. If you are have always been scared of um, lip liners and they always look a bit dark and intense for you and you want a very natural effect, something that doesn't look too obvious, then I really recommend this colour because it's a really, really nice pale pink and I think the um, formula of that is really, really nice. Uh, always take one of these with me, Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector and this is the colour um, 02 in the peach. Love these, best um, kind of lip gloss, lip moisturiser ever, nice colour, can wear it on your own, can wear it on top of anything, all the colours are beautiful and the formula is amazing. Uh, YSL's 107, Volupte in 107, I really like this, I think this is a really beautiful kind of mid-tone peach colour, the formula is really gorgeous and I'm wearing it now and I, this is my go-to lip product at the moment or my go-to lipstick. Uh, number 17's Beehive Mirror Shine, always take this with me in my bag, no matter what else, you know, just it's the, the fail safe lip colour for me, it's really gorgeous natural kind of pink, but the only problem is, if you can see, that it's totally mushed and it melts because it's so soft, but the formula is really gorgeous, the only problem is that it goes all squishy. Uh, concealer, another concealer that I take around with me. I repurchased this about six months ago or so, but I used to use this all the time. It's YSL's uh, Multi Action Concealer. I used to be obsessed with this a few years ago and I rebought it loads and loads of times but forgot about it and then I repurchased it um, a few months ago and I'm really enjoying it. It's a really, really nice kind of wind up. Uh, cream stick concealer. It's multi-purpose so it's great for under the eyes, um, it's not cakey or anything, it's really soft and easy to blend and apply and great for covering redness and um, redness and blemishes. I like this, I know I have the double wear as well but I like that because it's easier sometimes, I don't have to use my finger um, to you know get it out of the thing, it's in the stick form so it's much easier. Um, and it doesn't give a strong coverage, so I use the double wear when in emergency when I need a stronger coverage, basically. Uh, another lipstick, uh, I have a lot of lipsticks in here, is the Shiomura SSPK 306. Probably one of my favourite ever lipsticks, absolutely love this. I've nearly finished it, it's the most gorgeous baby pink ever. It offers a really gorgeous water shine finish, leaves your lips feeling really moisturised and lovely and adds a tiny amount of kind of... Um, pearly white colour almost, it really reminds me of um, By Terry's Balm de Rose, it kind of whites out your lips a tiny bit but not too much and offers a really gorgeous glossy finish, I love that. Uh, Laura Mercier's My New Lip Glacé or Lip Gloss in um, Bare Naked, obsessed with this, this is a gorgeous lip colour, it's a really pale uh, beige nude and the formula is amazing. And I think this is just beautiful. I really want to get the others from the collection. I really recommend, if you like kind of baby nude colours, checking out Laura Mercier's new um, collection because they have six colours. There's pinks, there's peaches, there's kind of um, mauves and then this is the beige one. But they're all really nice kind of um, baby colours. Uh, lip balm is my Badger Balm in Tangerine. My friend bought me this because we have um, we have kind of a thing about badgers, don't ask me why, we find them quite funny and she purchased this but actually it's a really really nice lip balm, great quality, really moisturising and nourishing and I really like it. Uh, hand sanitizer, always take hand sanitizer with me, um, I kind of, I don't like having dirty hands, I go to the park a lot with my daughter and things and I like to clean her hands and clean mine, I'm a little bit OCD with hand cleaning. Uh, last but not least is a perfume sample, I always take a perfume with me, just in case, you never know, If it's especially when it's hot like this, you kind of need to feel um, fresh again and this is the Guerlain Chalimar Perfume uh, Parfum Initial and it's their new kind of um, 
sh take on their sh original Shalimar perfume and I absolutely love this. I've loved it for months to be honest but I have, haven't bought a full size bottle yet. Um, I'm kind of holding out but I am going to because I love it and um, I got the sample the other day. So I've loved using that. Anyway, that's it guys. There's nothing... Oh, there's a hair bubble and some hair grips in there. But that's what I take around with me and they're kind of my um, go-to products throughout the day when I'm on the go um, that I use. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I will speak to you soon. Bye.